what's up guys uh it's another crazy hot one here in kansas humid actually really humid it's about 90 and we got a bunch of rain so you know how that moisture and hot weather goes anyways i'm out here uh doing some repotting of some plants gonna do some garden work today um wanted to just show you guys real quick some successes and failures so over here we got everything from tomatoes everything was from seed tomatoes to herbs to pepper plants to watermelons uh basil uh beans etc so most of these have already been planted in the garden these are the ones that are extra a few of these uh left will, will still be going in the garden i just haven't gotten around to it um but uh these ones and uh, there's probably a few more trays failed um i don't know if it's it's i don't know why um let's see what do we get uh holla, some some jalapeno plants green bean plants i tried some bitter melon sorry tried some bitter melon couldn't get those to grow some of those, some watermelon seeds also didn't grow in this batch but for some reason they grew in this batch um yeah i don't know i don't know what the deal is i can't tell you some of these seeds were bought some of these seeds were uh saved from previous year's harvests and i don't know if um if those seeds maybe are just not fertile i know some of those seeds we use still grew so i don't know what it is like some some seeds grow some seeds don't from uh you know tomatoes that we eat cucumbers that we eat or, uh, watermelon um but yeah some seeds bought some seeds not i don't know some grew some didn't but anyway so i'm taking care of that and uh, i'm gonna get those in the garden and then if you guys saw a video i posted here gosh about a week or so plus ago it was when i got the guinea fowl and i showed you guys this tick and the reason we got the the guinea keats the fowl guinea fowl <coughs> we got this big fat tick that was on betty and uh it's been in this little bottle since. We've I actually been meaning to just discard it, get rid of it. But I stumbled, my, my boys left it out here. I stumbled across it. And that big fat tick, this thing has been in there for dang near approaching three weeks, if not more, maybe. It's still alive. That's crazy. Containers closed. Um... There's nothing, in, ooh, you know what? <coughs> I kind of wonder if that's eggs. Yeah, we definitely don't want that. But anyways, I thought it was a bit shocking to see. I was, I was about to get, about to throw this away and this big fat tick was still alive. That's, that's crazy. Resilient little guys. And then, uh, Bernard over here just hanging out. Much cooler in the garage than it is out here. He likes coming in the garage, so I brought him out here. I think with the heat, I don't think they're gonna cross my fingers. I don't think they're gonna run off uh, with it being so hot. Now, if I left them out overnight, I'm, I'm probably risking it because they have not been out uh unfenced they've got their collar on them it is on them um but yeah if it starts to cool down i would almost bet that they are going to dart off because they have not been out around openly in our yard for a while now there's betty she's uh looking for a cool spot to hang out she doesn't like going in the garage for some reason Bernard doesn't mind the garage. She doesn't like to go in it. She likes to go look for shade under a tree. But I'm going to go uh, take care of some garden work here. <laughs> 